Hi everyone and welcome back to the Happy Heart. I am so glad that you guys came over today to see another cleaning video. As you can see, my house is completely trashed. Like, look at this. Every single room needed some help and some more than others, especially my living room. This is just ridiculous. And so I could not stand it any longer. I needed to get this done and I actually started cleaning I think it was almost 10 o'clock at night but I just wanted to go into my weekend knowing that everything was taken care of and that everything was clean so it took me a good little while to get this all done um, if I'm quite honest with y'all but it was so worth it at the end and I am so glad that I just stayed up and pushed through and got it all done and it was fun to film it for you guys so y'all will notice that I had a ton of dishes on this particular day and I feel like I can almost have like a load of dishes a day and there's only three people in my family so um, I'm sure that if you have more people in your family like you go through this all the time as well but um, interestingly enough you'll see that I just rinse a lot of stuff and that's not because I don't wash it I just kind of wanted to put that out there um, there's kind of this unwritten rule in my house that when you put something in the sink, you have to um, rinse your plate off. And most of the time, me and my husband follow it just fine. The stuff that gets stuck on and things like that, that's usually my son, who is only nine. So he does not remember all the time. But um, so that's why most of the time when I'm doing these dishes, you can see like I'm just rinsing stuff off because it's been there. The other thing I do is I soak stuff. I hate to scrub on dishes. That is like my pet peeve in life. So I will just let it um, soak and I will come back to it because there's no reason for me to waste energy on that. So that's why you'll see that most of these dishes I'm just rinsing off because most of them have been pre-washed already. And then I really like using the dishwasher for like more like sanitary purposes than anything else. I mean, nothing could live after your dishwasher I feel like so it's so hot in there but but yeah I wanted to throw that out there because I know everybody has their opinions on washing dishes before you put them in the dishwasher um, I do really believe in that but it never comes across in my videos because you know most of the time everything is just kind of been rinsed off at least
let you guys in on a little secret. Um, all of my friends kind of make fun of me because they're like, you guys celebrate everything. And yes, I really do celebrate everything. I feel like life is too short and we should just celebrate everything. So even if these these some like silly Hallmark holidays, I just feel like, yeah, we should we should celebrate. So I usually try to put stuff kind of where we are the majority of the day, I guess you could say. And so I used to decorate my living room a whole lot. And lately I've been decorating my dining room for different holidays because we homeschool in there and that's where we are the majority of the time. So as you can see, I kind of decorated a little bit for Valentine's Day and now I'm taking down all the Valentine's Day stuff and I'm gonna put up my St. Patrick's Day stuff and um, it's just really fun and actually I think my son really really likes it I showed him after this video I said go in there and look look in the dining room and he got all excited so um, let me know what you guys think do you decorate for little holidays like this when you have little kids my mom always did and so it's something that I try to do with my son and honestly like I didn't do a lot of it um, for a lot of years when I worked, but now um, being able to stay at home and things like that I really like um, putting out the decorations and just trying to make all those little days really really special for him um, I found most of this stuff at the Dollar Tree I, I think actually all of it came from the Dollar Tree and I was really excited about those heart placemats and these um, clover placemats and I bought them at, actually at the same time and I was super excited about them. I think they just add some kind of a fun uh, holiday theme to the dining room and he was so excited. Y'all should have heard him. I wish I would have put it on video because he was just like, oh my gosh, it's really cool. So I think that he actually likes it more than he lets on most of the time.
y'all just have to bear with me because I had so much to pick up in this living room on this day and I found a ton of Nerf darts. I had a whole pile by the end of the night. It was ridiculous. So, uh, do you guys find Nerf darts all over your house too? Do you guys have little boys? Does that happen to everybody or is it just me? Anyway, um, I just had so much little stuff here and there. We had really just been hanging out in our living room not doing a lot. I actually had a wisdom tooth pulled um, a couple days earlier and I came home and like laid on the couch and so there was all my medicine and things and I hadn't really cleaned up and honestly you guys know being moms it's like you know we're the ones who kind of come through and pick up after everyone and so on this particular day I just felt like I could not stand it anymore that I had to get this done but um, I was really happy with how it turned out. You'll notice that my coffee table is still in my dining room and it was from the previous cleaning video. You'll see that I was cleaning for a group of girls that came and stayed with us um, over the weekend for our youth group that we volunteer with and um, Anthony hadn't put the coffee table back in the living room and uh, shortly after I filmed this video, he actually did, and it was so funny. I'm like, oh, I should have filmed it. But, um, so it had been in the dining room for about a week, but it's actually really heavy, and I didn't want to get it kind of off level. So I didn't pull it back myself because I knew he was here and he could do it for me. Um, usually, if he was out of town or something, I would have just done it myself. But luckily, he was here and he could help me, so... Um, that is why there's no coffee table here right now, but that's okay. It has since been put back and we are all back to normal.
much needed cleaning motivation. I know I always need motivation, especially when my house is this trashed, to just start in a room, start somewhere, and get going. It really doesn't take as long as we think it does in our head, and the outcome is so satisfying, as you can see. So sometimes I just need that little bit of extra motivation to push me over the edge, and I hope that I can provide that for you as well. And check out these before and after clips here in just a second. They are amazing, and I think they're probably my favorite part of the whole video. I love seeing how everything transforms from before and after. It just gives me such an amazing appreciation for all the work I did because on this particular day, I was tired, you guys. I'll have to admit, I was exhausted. So if you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and those bell notifications so you don't miss any videos. I usually try to upload cleaning videos on Sunday and Wednesday. And um, I am around on Instagram every day, so if you guys um, aren't following me there, go ahead and follow me. The link is in my description box below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I love hearing y'all's thoughts on the cleaning videos and um, just the different decor and things in the house. So um, feel free to comment away, and I will talk to you guys again soon. Bye for now.